It's time to say goodbye to the exponential graph and move on to a totally new kind of graph. So to summarize, we have looked at the straight line, the parabola, the exponential, and now we are on to the last graph that you need to know for grade 10. As always, let's have a look and see what shape we form when we plug the following five values into this equation. And so the first point we're going to plug in is negative 2. And if you had to go work that out, you're going to end up with 3 over negative 2, which is the same as negative 1.5. I then plugged in minus 1 and I got minus 3. Here's an interesting one. If you plug 0 into this equation, try that on your calculator and you're going to get an error. Absolutely fine. Don't worry about that. Just say error. We're going to talk about that. That's a new feature for this kind of graph. If you then plug in 1, you're going to end up with 3. And then lastly, we'll plug in the value of 2 and end up with 1.5. Now we can go and plot the point. So the first one we're going to plot is this over here, which is negative 2. So I'm just going to fill in here f of x, and this is x. So negative 2 is the x, 1, 2, and then minus 1.5 is the y. So that's 1 down and then a half, so that's there. And then the next point is going to be minus 1 and minus 3, so that's going to be minus 1, and then 3 down, 1, 2, 3. And that point's there. Then the error, well, we can't really do anything with that, so don't stress. And then the next point we're going to plot is 1 and 3, so that goes 1 to the right, and then 3 up 1, 2, 3, that's over here. And then the last point is going to be x was 2, and then y is 1.5, so that's there. And so how are we going to draw this graph? Because it can't do this. That, that, it's not going to do that. So the way it works is the following. This graph actually comes in two separate halves. So it's going to do this, and then the other half is going to do that over there. Quite weird, right? And so what we're going to see in future videos that is that this kind of graph, which is obtained when there's an x at the bottom, is going to be called a hyperbola. And it comes in two different pairs like this. And what we're also going to see is that this line here, which sort of separates it in two halves, as well as this line over here, which separates that one in two halves, those are going to be our two asymptotes for this line. Now remember, we saw asymptotes with exponential graphs, but in exponential graphs we only had one asymptote. This type of graph is going to have two. And that's why this error feature comes up, because it's actually telling us that the graph doesn't exist there, and so it's an asymptote. So we'll see that happening quite often. So let's move to the next example. So I'm going to get right into it. So we're going to start off by plugging minus 2. And if you do that, you end up with an uh, output value of 1. You then plug in minus 1, and you're going to end up with 0. Here, using plugging in 0, once again, we're going to get the error. Don't worry about that. It's normal. There, we're plugging in 1. And so that's going to be 2 divided by 1, which is 2. And 2 plus 2 is 4. And then 2 divided by 2 is 1 and then 1 plus 2 is 3 so that's going to be the other point now we're going to go ahead and plot those points so the first point we're going to plot is minus 2 and 1 so that's 2 to the right I mean left and 1 up and that's there over there next point is going to be minus 1 and 0 so that's 1 to the left and then 0 means it's not going to go up or down and so that point's going to be there we're going to leave out the error for now the next point is 1 and 4 so that's 1 to the right and then 4 up so that's 1 2 3 4 and that's going to be over there and then the next one is going to be 2 to the right and 3 up. So that's 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, so that's over there. And now we said that this error line is actually just going to be an asymptote, so we can put that like that over there. And then the other error line, or not the other error line, the other asymptote line is always going to be exactly in between those two dots. It's going to do something like that. And as with the exponential, that value is actually going to have a value of y equals to 2, which we can see straight away over there. And so what the graph's going to do is it's now going to do this kind of shape over here, like that. So it goes very close to the asymptote down here and at the end, and it does the same over here. It goes very close to the asymptote at the end and up here. Okay, I know it's a bit of a weird graph for now, but welcome to this one. It is the hyperbola, and it's the last graph that you need to know for grade 10. And so in the next videos, we are going to get more in tune with this graph as we're going to go further into the details of how this graph works.